guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new series. It is uh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday, so that means it's Watch This Wednesdays. So this is the new series that I've created. It's kind of a. It's kind of a. I'm gonna see how it goes. If it, if if you guys like it, then we'll carry on. And if you don't, um, it's, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it and pretend it never happened. Um, so. Obviously, I have Sniper Sundays, which is obviously, you know, weekly analysis um, for the coming week. Um, but then I was, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, yo, I need to do, um, I need to do some more content or something for you guys. Um, you know, because like once a week isn't really a lot. So I thought, you know, why don't I do something midweek? And then I was like, yeah, Wednesday is quite a good day. And then I was like, okay, watch this Wednesdays. It must be. So obviously, if you don't know what a watch list is, a watch list is um this thing here this like tool if you see it like that um it's basically what like you know the, the pairs you're watching so this is i'm watching this and this is a list so it's called the watch list so if you're wondering the name that is how i got the name uh, actually one of the guys from my chat uh the community chat gave it to me scott big shout out to you my guy so yeah basically i'm just going to run down a couple pairs um with what I'm seeing and it's basically like a sneak peek of what you get in my actual group because obviously like I've given them double the pairs and they had a little Q&A session so basically they asked me a bunch of questions like oh can you go over psych levels or can, do you mind going over how to get sniper entries um, in more detail or uh, do you mind going over what time frames are the best to get entries on and stuff like that and then I just create a video midweek like, like, like today and put it in the chat for them and they obviously can basically, so it's basically just access to me asking me all the questions in a detailed video instead of just over text. So, yeah, if you guys want to get part of that, if you guys want to learn some more shit, get on, uh, DM me and I'll link you the uh, details. But if you know, if you just want some free stuff for the minute, stay with my YouTube video, uh, my YouTube videos. Just be sure to subscribe and like, you know, show some support, show me some love. I appreciate it a lot. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Um, I'm just gonna go over uh, go over a couple pairs from the. I'm just type in real quick. So this is one I gave out um, in in the video last week um, on Sunday. Sorry. So obviously we can see my entry I gave here out to the team. One ten five hundred psych level, and then it obviously climbed up to nearly hundred pips in profit. Our stops were at break even. It had a massive impulse to, to this. Um, is the eight hour EMA you can see here literally tapped it and that's back up so it's still sitting in about 70 pips in profit so there's nothing major nothing to scream a shout about but you know it's running risk free and I still think this can still you know go up to the minus 23 we'll take partials here partials here and take partials here so I was looking good and with my team I even said to them up with Eurocad I said it's, um oh shit my bad um Basically, before it broke down, I said to them actually leave it because I saw this descending trend line, which was in play. One touch, two touch, takes two touches to make a trend line that came up for the third touch and then it had a sell off. So it didn't respect, it wasn't respect. So basically what happened was we had this smaller trend on um, and that's what I had on. But once I could see it wasn't respecting it, um, the 52 level, because I said wait for rejection from the 52 level. We didn't see any rejection from the 52 level. It went straight through straight through that shit look at this look at this where is it 52 no rejection look at that on the four hour time frame bang so that's straight invalid straight no trade there's no um no rejection no trade that's what my that's what i say to the guys and that's it and we move on to the next trade and that's fine like we didn't we didn't take a trade we didn't take a loss we move on we look for other trades and that's how it goes so for this one now like we could probably delete this shit and then you know when this finishes we can fib this from here, the last significant high, the last significant low, and then you know, get some kind of entry on a sell from up here, and that's like a left shoulder, head, right shoulder formation, looking sexy. And this is a uh, psych level, it's psych level, okay, you got the 500 level here, but all these wicks, you see all these wicks here, one, two, three, four, five. So I'll take a short from here, probably. I literally, I didn't even know, I, I literally just didn't even have this on my chart to be honest with you, it's actually quite a good trade, but so. You guys got that free content. Come on, gassed. So yeah, five ratio, 
382 pips. That's what I'm talking about. We have an EMA, 58 hour. Okay, so eight, the EMA doesn't line up, line up perfectly, but you know, we can make do. So 52,500 is kind of the level that I'm looking for, but we might have a wick up to this kind of level. So just keep watch for that. And why am I doing that? It's because it's continuation. Lower low, lower high, and now it's obviously made an equal low, and then it made a lower low compared to this point. Sorry, lower high compared to this point. I'll keep getting mixed up. So lower high, and then now we're looking, obviously, for this little retracement. If we can get it, because this might just make the, the new lower low without even stopping. But what we're saying is, okay, if it can come back up to here, then, you know, we're going to take a short. And that's structure as well, because look, support, support, um, support, and it came down, resistance, 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 support, resistance, 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 resistance. So it's a structure. That is, that is actually looking really nice, actually. Bang. I just found that. It was sexy as hell. But yeah, that's the shit that happens, man. If you know what you're doing, you just find shit sometimes and you didn't even see it. So, yeah, you just witness that. So that's looking good. I'm actually going to add that shit right now. What the hell is it? So yeah, to have this, you need um, you need Pro. So if you want that link, the disc discount link, go to the, my Sniper Sundays video, just the recent one, and the link's at the bottom. And yeah, you get the Pro, which basically means you can set alert. So I can set an alert if price comes back up to here. It says, look, add alert for Euro CAD, and it sets an alert. And basically, I get a text or I get an email alert on my phone when I'm out and about, and it says Euro CAD has come to your um, X price or whatever the price would be. And then I can be like, okay, well, that means in the next four to eight hours, I need to look up the chart and look for ejection. And that's it. And I don't have to sit in front of the chart all day and know that shit. So that's what I'm talking about. So that's looking really good, actually. So to summarize this chart, it will, uh, yeah, I wanted to have a buy here, but I said to you guys, I want to wait for rejection. Did it reject? No. So there's no trade. And then I go, I just, I just, I just adapt to the market. So the market's telling me now shorts now. It's telling me sells. And now I'm looking for this retracement to take a sell. And that's it. Uh, you just got to adapt. You got to be versatile. Yeah. All right, bang, cool. Um, you're a cad. So we got, I got stopped out of break even. Um, I think the guys got stopped out of break even as well, which is not a big deal. Um, and I said, if we can see the rejection again, then I'm going to be taking shorts. And then we had four hour shooting star, shooting star. And I got in that from up here. So that one is 0 0.0900, 950. I was like, it's kind of near a cycle level. It might wick up to the cycle level and then drop. But I was like, I wasn't too bothered. And then we obviously came like 70 pips in profit. Um, I didn't put my slots to break even because I knew there was going to be, um, a little bit of movement and I didn't want to just, you know, get stopped out at break even again. And if you look on the one hour time frame, it's doing a bit of a maz, to be honest with you. It's doing a bit something weird. But it's had this sell off from 10300 and it's kind of come down and went, but it's like come back up. I think some pro some news came out, so it's just being manipulated a little bit. But I said to the guys, I'm, I'm still short on this because it's, like it's made a triple top. This could just be a wick like this because this could easily close in the four hour time frame in 14 minutes. As just come back down, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. But if you look on the weekly as well, you can clearly see the weekly MA is coming in uh, here. And if you look here, it's, it's, it's just been beneath it. And when it comes up, it rejects. So, like, rejected, 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 rejected. Obviously, it came up here, but this was coronavirus, so allow that. Um, and my stops are above the 10500 cycle level. So, hopefully, if it does come up to the 10500 cycle level. I don't, I'm not going to get stopped out. And then it obviously has a sell-off. So we'll wait and see. So it's looking okay. It's not my favourite at the moment. It's kind of playing a little bit. Um, but the market's been a bit shit this, so far this week. Obviously, we have Bank Holiday Monday. Dead market. Tuesday, got in, Chief JPY kind of jumped up a little bit. But it's nothing nothing much. Like, usually, there's, like, really nice um, setups, which are just, like, beautiful. But, yeah, nothing much uh, as of yet. GP CAD. Um, so we got... The selling trend line. I'm not going to do the whole zoom out thing because it's just a quick. If you want that, go watch the Sniper Sundays. You, I'm just doing like a quick, you know, little update. Um, so we got the selling trend line. One touch of the trend line here. Second touch there. So it makes a trend line. And then if you go on the four hour time frame, we can clearly see the four hour EMA is getting rejected. Rejection, rejection. When it, What I mean by that is it sells from it. It comes up to it and then obviously goes the opposite direction. 
Um, please bear in mind this price might keep going. Okay, so this might keep going down to here. Then we can place the fib if it if the legs finished. But I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video. Um, so what I'm basically looking for, if if let's just say this is the way it's ended, and price starts to re re retrace, if price can come back up to this seventy one point seven five hundred level, one point seventy five hundred, then I'm going to be looking for basically rejection on the four hour time frame. If we can see something like that, and I'm going to be looking for so we got selling trend line four hour EMA. 78 points uh, golden pocket fib level so like between the 78.6 and the 71 and we have some obviously some structure look support support resistance resistance all that good stuff so stick that over there and that's bang easy easy peasy lemon squeezy bring this down a little bit so that's a 4.4 .4 ratio and that's 330 pips so that's what i'm looking at on that it's looking good so if we can see the retracement i'm waiting for this this kind of price action before i take a trade uh, like you know, it's a couple, couple uh, dojis or some type of stuff here. Where we need to wait and see. We need to wait and see how this plays out. All right, let's just find like that. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Price to retrace, and we look for some kind of rejection to take us out. No rejection, no trade. So this could easily, you know, do this type of shit, come back up, and then break up, and then it's, then we'll just be looking at longs. Okay, but if it does that. Then we're not going to take a trade because there'll be no rejection. It'll just break straight through, most likely, ninety percent sure. But yeah, I'm just going with trends. So until that happens, I'm still short. I'm still my bias is still short. So that's G CAD, G V CAD, G J. Oh, uh, some people I know that are trying to buy this, but I said to the guys, I was like, okay. So I had I had I had sales I had a sell on this, but we know I got stopped to break even. That's fine. I'm not I'm not scared to admit that. I'm not here to bullshit you. Yeah, I got stopped to break even, so that means zero loss incurred. Fine. One, two. Had a sell from here. And it broke up. And it's created a new higher high. So it's created a new higher high compared to this point. So now I'm looking for the higher low. Now I'm looking for the higher low. Wait. Now I'm looking for the higher low to form here around this cycle level 131.500. Rejection of the four hour EMA, the fib level, the ascending trend line, and yeah, all that good stuff. So, if, I, if we see this rejection, this type of price action here occur here, then I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm be taking a long, yeah, that's easy. And I will take it up to them probably, we'll take 50% off, off here, 25% off here, and then um, I said to the guys, we need to be aware of this outer trend line. So, if you look on the daily, you can see this outer trend line. One touch, two touch, and then obviously we have the daily EMA coming in as well. So I said we'll probably, I'll probably just close it all out at the minus twenty three percent, which is fine. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see how this plays out. Um, for that, so that's GJ. So we we'll look for rejection. Look for that roundabout. If you guys are a bit confused about what I'm talking about, go to my Sniper Sundays video. What I just done and I just made. Sorry. And if I watch that will probably help you understand what I'm talking about a little bit more because it's a lot longer, lot longer video. But you know, I'm just trying to keep it simple, short and sweet videos. Um, you know, that's what it's about. It's not about overcomplicating it and you know talking all this bullshit. You know, really complicated charts that people do because people do that to make you to make you think like, oh my god, like yeah, they're they're really smart people. Yeah. Oh, I need to buy from them. Yeah, they're really smart. Like it's all bollocks. I keep it simple. I show you the skill. Yeah, I obviously have a members area, but you know, I provide more value in that area for people. So, you know, I'm not a charity. I'm obviously going to make people pay for it. It's value. It's valuable. They're going to learn stuff. They're going to make money from it. Like if you look, one of the guys joined on Friday and he made his money back the next day. It's that's how cheap it is. So when people ask me like why why um, I make people pay for it because it's my time that I'm putting into making videos and editing the videos and xyz you see what i'm saying like i'm trying to help you but like this shit's for free on youtube it's all free stuff and i'm not getting paid for this like i've got like 200 subs so i'm not getting paid shit all from all that um and i'm just doing it because i want to help some people i want to help some bros so if you want to help me back give a little like give a little sub sub uh, subscribe and you know leave a little comment saying yo that's sick or you know tag a friend or whatever you if you can even do that on youtube 
and yeah man so last one is NZ, nzd cad i said it's kind of already gone for you guys but i did say i think i mentioned it in the other video on sunday i was like yeah we took cells from here and it's basically come back up stopped us at break even i said okay let's wait for ejection on the four hour time frame i said and what happened let's have a little look we had that was two hour time frame sorry let's have a look it was either two or four but either way it's still the same kind of price action we had doji and then we had a shooting star on this from from this pink zone which i placed so that shows price came back up to the pink zone once again and it rejected and then we took a sell i think it was like from around here eight five eight hundred so we're like 60 pips in profit nothing like crazy but you know if you look on the daily it's looking so good look at this rejection look at this rejection on the pink zone doji uh, spinning top shooting star spinning top shooting star and it's basically looking from the 78.6 so this is looking like it's gonna absolutely get destroyed to the downside um and on the weekly it's rejecting the ema and it's in like it's ascending wedge so i think it's gonna get bam like that big swing big old swing trade this so we're in some of the top and from the top uh i hope you guys are too um so yeah if you do want to get involved with the team and the members area where i do like loads of updates and more in-depth videos give me a dm on instagram um it's at K it's kfx underscore 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 so three underscores I'm trying to get the KFX one uh, without any underscores, but some bot account has, has it, as they always do. But I'm on that. I'm on that. Don't worry. So yeah, that's the that's the watch list. That's the watch list Wednesdays for you. That is a quick update, quick breakdown of some charts. Um, I hope that helped you. I hope you learned something. And if you did, leave it, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys on Sunday.